my mother always used to tell, uh, tell me uh, she always hit me when I start mixing um, colors with black and white and she said these are somehow I think it's called unnatural colors um, so I wasn't allowed to paint with those or mix just highlights and really really dark places can I ask why a toilet seat um, because I've never done it before I've never painted on a toilet seat and more reason I don't need more reason I just want to do it because I've never done it before I think it's nice it's a fun idea and that's more than enough let's see if I can get some white out of this you already have an idea? yes um, on the inside I wanna draw my own face basically if you open the toilet seat I will look at you something like that um, and the rest just really colorful with maybe some flowers um, oops. stuff like that maybe little humans just I think the, the first thing to do is just starting and looking how it turns out and while you paint trying to figure out what you're gonna paint what's erinnerung in in english memory exactly my earliest memory i think i was about two years old we took a flight back home from spain and all i remember was how i sat in this flight and I looked out the window and I started drawing stuff. And back then I started drawing. So my name's Paul Müller. I'm an artist. I do art. Or for myself, I say I do art. What people think I do, that doesn't matter too much to me. Um, I think I'm an artist even if it's a strange word. My mother is an artist. Um, like she does paintings like this. So um, having paint, uh, the painting is mostly I got it from her. And everything that has a bit of an eye for art, seeing stuff different and finding inspiration and in things. I learned that from my mother and since I was a small boy, she always took me to some art classes with her. Um, and I learned what it really means to do art and what it means and what it takes to make art. Um, and how hard it can be, but you have to do it and you have to keep on doing it. Never mind how bad it seems to be. I think all day life inspired me. Every time I, I feel like I'm down, I can't do art, I'm not a real artist, I take my bike and um, drive around town and just look at people, how they, how they live their lives. And um, I love the, in Fechenheim, the, how do you call it? Um, I forgot the German word as well. You said uh, the industry gebiet it seems so unhuman so human unfriendly because there's only streets and tall buildings with no windows and uh, seeing stuff like that makes my mind explode because there are so many just gray walls without windows in it and that makes new space for new art one of the many buildings that inspire me um 
being different, being special, being strange, um, it changes. People live in it, people swim in it. Um, and some artists had the audacity to make something like this and, and try to do something new, even if it would fail. He just did it, or she. Um, so yes, it's absolutely, it's art. For me, art is some kind of escape because I can be free, I can see stuff differently. The moment of, uh, where you think about your own story, the stuff you feel when you see a painting of mine, um, you start to create a story and it's probably gonna be a different story from what I felt when I painted it, but it's true anyways, because we both feel this, these emotions. Um, and that's what I like about not explaining, because then I can show there's not only this one truth, there's not only yes or no. Um, and, and both can be right, the painter and the visitor, the, the one who is seeing my art. And so the question, what is art, is a really hard question, because everything can be art. The moment you see, hear, feel, or whatever, do something with it, interact with it, um, and feel something, it becomes art in one way or another. And everyone is an artist, but the one, the one with more practice, uh, probably the better artists because they know what they do, they, they know how to free themselves, how to let art just happen without being insecure. What comes across my mind nowadays is um, where, how far goes my freedom as an artist of producing art and how far can I go and maybe hurt some people? And how, how much do I need think of um, politics in my art? Can I draw a woman um, naked maybe, maybe in some sexist, masochistic way and saying it's just art so you shouldn't bother it? Um, can I draw some racist shit if I want to? and say it's just art, so I take the freedom of it. Especially nowadays where everyone can have an opinion on you. As long as you post something on the internet, everyone can say something, everyone can comment it. And I think that's the biggest struggle nowadays, because you have to be so correct to everyone, you have to think before you do something, before you start a new project, new art stuff, um, you have to think of ways how you could probably hurt people with it. I think I can answer the question the best in German, if you don't mind it. Yeah, of course. Um, ich muss ein bisschen wie da deutsche Wörter finden. Um, einfach zu schauen, wie man am besten Kunst machen kann, ohne dass sie reproduzierbar ist. Um, weil letztendlich das ist, was gute Kunst entscheidet, ist die Reproduzierbarkeit im Sinne von, wenn ich Kunst mache, die nicht so schnell reproduzierbar ist und etwas Neues darstellt, werden Leute dafür mehr empfinden als Kunst, die jeder machen kann. Ähm, weshalb Leute auch oftmals sagen, oh, das hätte ich auch machen können, das ist doch gar keine Kunst. Und ähm, zweiter Struggle ist, glaube ich, einfach zu sagen, wie politisch korrekt muss ich bleiben, um künstlerisch frei zu sein, aber niemanden zu verletzen? Und kann ich mir die Freiheit nehmen, Leute zu verletzen und sagen, es ist nur Kunst und es ist nicht meine richtige Opinion oder sonst was und es soll, soll alles in eine sehr witzige Richtung gehen oder sonst was? Und ich glaube, das ist so ein bisschen die Struggle, weil jeder halt ähm, deine Kunst sehen kann und 
sich jeder angesprochen wird. One way or another. Und jemand, irgendjemand ist immer verletzt. Egal, was du machst. Irgendjemand passt immer nicht. Und da muss man dann halt den Weg finden zu sagen, ab wann geht es zu weit, ab wann bin ich vielleicht sexistisch oder rassistisch oder einfach verletzt zu viele Menschen und das geht dann nicht mehr klar. Und wie weit kann ich einen Künstler, eine Künstlerin supporten, ähm, im Sinne von ich supporte sie als Künstlerin oder ihn als Künstler, ähm, aber supporte nicht die Aussage, die dahinter steckt. Und ich glaube, das ist gerade ein sehr großes Thema, gerade was so Gender Studies angeht, zu sagen, um, how can I speak for all genders when I draw a person? And how can I speak for all um, skin colors when I draw myself? And that's why I self, um, only draw myself most of the time, because I don't want to let, let people left out and I know how I look. And if I draw other people, I mostly draw them some weird um, skin colors, green, yellow, blue, because then I can say everyone can see themselves in it, because it's not skin color meaning it's white, or skin color meaning it has to be white and black is not a skin color, or um, yellow, Asian looking people, stuff like that. So I guess the biggest struggle is to be politically correct and not trying to hurt too many people, but at the same time being free as an artist. Because if you don't have freedom in art, everything will eventually look the same. If you have too many rules on what not to do, you have the limitation. And then in 100 years, you see the same picture I did today. And that's the, that's probably the um, best part about art, no matter what you do, no one ever did it before. No one will ever do it after you did it. Even if they copy it, it's not the same. Even if it looks like the same, it's not the same. And that's basically the beauty behind art, I guess. I have an image, but I'm not trying to recreate it. I'm just... know how it should look like, but I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to get the perfect picture I have in my head, because I know it won't help. I know if I paint this today, it will never look like I um, have it in my head. And that's fine, that's, that's totally fine with me. Um, but I guess that's all about not caring what the future will bring. I don't care how the picture looks at the end. I really just care what it looks like now and what colors I have to mix to get good looking colors. Do you feel free right now? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's nice because I don't really feel the heat no more. Um, I really stop thinking about stuff I thought before. Um, it's just a moment. The toilet seat, uh, the color and my brush. And me, of course. I like it for the first time painting on a toilet seat, but there are some things I do different when I do it again, like painting a background before I start painting the flowers, um, not using that much water, um, uh, 
Yes, yes, of course I am. I mean, I painted on a toilet seat. Of course I'm satisfied. How could I not? Um, no, I like it. I like it. Just needs much work, needs much to do. Um, but it's going to be good. It's going to look great. Just needs time. Yes, exactly. Now, when you see it, what do you see? That's a hard question because I'm the artist. I see an unfinished product, as you said. Um, No, I don't think so. Because I'm the artist, I'm the painter, I, I, I don't have that much emotion to my own paintings. Because I, I, it's all an idea, I had it all in my head. And now it's just there to, to be painted by me. So there aren't that much emotions from my, my side on. Just things I would do different and things I want to change. I think I was six years old. And the funny part about it is um, I just started taking my scissors, uh, scissors and cutting some stuff out of cardboard. And I always liked skeletons. And then I used some clue. I think it's... Sekundenkleber um, and started gluing this stuff together in some weird way so it will hold. And then three months ago I found this again and I was like why don't I build it in big like a meter high with wood. And then I start cutting out these shapes and I wanted to screw them into another and, and, and with nuggets and stuff like that. But then I remembered how I did this one with only glue and it still holds. So I tried to make the same one here, cutting really tight spaces free so I can put them all into another um, and only using glue so it would hold. Well, it's not holding, but that's fine. It's changing. That's the good part about it. And now the next mission is to um, keep painting it and maybe hang it somewhere in the garden. So you are basically a painter, but you're experimenting too. Yes, with everything. Um, because if I limitate myself to paintings, I limitate myself in art, and that's not what I want to do as an artist. I want to be open for everything. Um, and I, I don't want to set myself into a weird spot where I don't like painting no more, but I don't can, I think I can't do anything else. So if I ever stop painting, I have all the art in the world left to do. And I mean, the future has just started, so we will see what the future brings for new art. And, um, I mean... Holographic art, when stuff like this exists, then I will start being an artist, I guess.